What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Michael Feathers am back. Uh, we're going to be doing a little different video than what I normally do. Normally, I'm making baits. Today, I figured why not than to do an unboxing. Never done one. So, I figured what better way to start the new year out with doing new things so let's um we're gonna pop this box open keep that there we might need that all right first thing well first thing i find is shipping label don't need that right now so here's the box uh, first thing that comes on top is our table of contents. Little dibble mag, little little tips and tricks for y'all. But this right here is our table of contents. This is what's going to tell us what is inside of our box. So, first off, we're going to dive into the box real quick. Little sticker. Little bass in outer space. And we got a Neko. Little Neko. Pro MTB box. That's kind of cool. That's that's kind of cool. And a little card for the club members. Oh, and it actually has a little Guggen Base Dragon Drop, a little four inch, so I'm assuming that's in there. So, first off, we're gonna go, uh, gonna go right down the list Throwback Lures Trailblazer. And here's that. little bass color on there so we're just gonna pop this open real quick let's try not to hook ourselves in this so it is a jointed bait let me hold it like that so y'all can See the detail on this thing. I mean, them, that detail is amazing. That's pretty good. I think I would change the hooks on here. Um, I mean, they're sharp, but I think I'd want a little beefier hook. Just from my standpoint, I would want a little beefier hook. I mean, the hooks that are on there, they're, they're fine, they're sharp, but I like to beef up my hooks a little bit. All right, so second thing is the Vexen Burns Stone Roller. Vexen Burns Stone Roller. So it is called a Deep Thud series. 
it dies down. It's a half ounce. Goes ten foot. The color on that is real nice. I love the color on that. Um, again, the hooks. The hooks on here. Um, I mean, they're plenty big enough. But out of the gate. They're not real. They're not too, too sharp. The front one's. Are a little sharper than the back ones but again I would I like to change my hooks this is, this is what I like to do is just change my hooks to the hooks I like <clears throat> all right next up 10,000 fish saw crawl Of course, they're going to be on the bottom. So here's the 10,000 fish saw crawl. So, little black and blue color. I like that. Especially down here. Pop this out. Little clamshell action here. So we'll go ahead and show this to y'all. It's not that bad of a design. Pop all these appendages off. Which they come off. That's the front of the bait. There's the back of the bait. It's not that bad. Um, and black and blue, yes, big, big thing down where I live. Water stays a little, a little muddier than most places. So I like, I like a lot of dark colors. Uh, next up is the Guggen Bates Drag and Drop. Um, <clears throat> Most of us by now have already heard of Guggen Baits or have been throwing Guggen Baits. Um, me, myself, I throw them. This is the Watermelon Red. I actually needed some Watermelon Red, so I'm glad that they're in here. That saves me some money. So there is the watermelon red. Just some small red flake, some black flake. Um, see, I like looking at the colors because as, as y'all know, you know, I make my own baits. So I like looking at colors. So, theirs has a little little red flake. I like to make mine with a little larger flake. Um, mine are a little more, you know, it's a little bigger. It's the um, 0.35 or 0.035 millimeter flake. Um, I like that size a whole lot better. All right, next up is the Riot's Bait The Probe. You know, we get some hooks that fell out of the package here. Let me put these hooks back in the package before I hook myself. So, Riot Baits the Probe. 
Here are the riot baits. So, first off, looks just like a normal finesse worm. But then it comes down, tapers off, and then it comes back. It has this little thing on it. This little thing. All of them have it. So, I'm guessing that is part of the bait to give it a little more action in the water. Which is kind of cool. Don't have a color on there, but we all know that is green pumpkin. We all know what green pumpkin looks like. All right, second up. Not second up, but Mismo Bait Company Tubes. So you only get four of them. They're well salted. So it's just gold pearl. There's no flake in it. Just a gold pearl tube. Um, a lot of salt. I like that. I got salt all over me now. I'll put these to the test. Um, I live near a river, so small mouth galore on them. Uh, next up, lifted jugs tube, true goby tube jigs. True goby tube jigs. These were actually open, so I almost hooked myself with these. But that's what that is. So you can put that on like a little swim bait. It's five sixteenth ounce. Um, I guess you could put these in the tube. That'd be kind of interesting the way it would fall. Yeah, it would fall more this way. Huh. I don't think I'd do it that way. But you could probably put like a little swim bait on here and make it swim like that. I haven't really seen these, so y'all let me know what these are really useful for. I haven't I haven't seen them. And last thing in the box. Four uh, EWG hooks. And all is know that it's an extra wide gap hook. And they are freaking sharp. So, they'll be going in the tackle box also. So, there you have it. We got some soft plastics. Some Mismo Tube Company. Little tubes. 10,000 fish saw cross. Black and blue. Watermelon red dragon drop. I know a lot of people say Guggen baits are hot baits. I enjoy them. I use them. I got a ton of them. Um, I pretty much have every soft plastic that they have made. And I'm catching fish with them. Um, they're hard baits. I haven't tried any of their hard baits. I still like 
my regular hard baits. Um, and of course, the Riot uh, Probe bait. That's a real nice one. And then little throwback lures trailblazer really enjoy that one and then of course the vexen i'm gonna i'm gonna be throwing that one a lot and probably this one too probably throw that a lot and two hooks and again, y'all let me know what these are for. Put down in the comments what they were for. So that's all the baits. Um, this is going to be a little shorter video than most of my videos. But uh, make sure to like, um, comment on all the baits. What do y'all want me to see? Or what do y'all want to see me do again? Y'all like these unboxing videos. I'll do more unboxing videos. Um... I will have another, um, we'll have another bait making video coming up, uh, with a real cool color. Um, and hopefully we'll get through just a couple more months or as soon as it hits 50 degrees, I'll go out fishing, hopefully take y'all with me, catch some fish, um, but until next time, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, give this a good old thumbs up. And if y'all want to see more unboxing videos, let me know. So that's it for now. Um, we're going to sign off here. We'll see you next time.